Hello all, welcome back to the video on 8085 microprocessors assembly language program. So we'll now today see uh, how to go about the subtraction first. Okay. See here, the example is write a program in assembly language to subtract the numbers stored at C1001H from the number stored at C1000 and store the result at T1000. So when you see this, what we are trying to understand here is how do we subtract from one memory location to another memory location. And we have already seen how do you uh, put the data in memory location, how do you take it to accumulator, all that part remains the same. So first thing is you point to the memory location C1000, take the data to accumulator, go to the next memory location and now you have the instruction called subtract memory. So this subtract memory does what? Subtract the contents of uh, memory from accumulator and the result is placed in accumulator. As the question says that the result has to be stored at D1000. So we need to shift it from accumulator to D1000. So what is the instruction? SDA D1000 and end of the program. Okay, so this is how you subtract the numbers. Okay, the next program that we are going to see is directly 16-bit data addition where you are adding the data from memory location 5000 and up to 5002 and store the result at 5004. Okay, so here the data in 5000 and 5001, we are taking it to HL pair. So the instruction for that is LHLD 5000. Now, once the data is there in H and L, we are exchanging it. Means whatever is there in HL will go to the pair of register. Now, again, we are putting the data of 5002 and 3 in HL pair. Now, the data, one set of data is there in D pair of register, another set in HL pair of register. We have an instruction called DADD, which adds the content of DE with HL. So, now, when you write that D, the content of 5000 and 5001 is added to 5002 and 5003. And the result after that D will be placed in HL pair. Now, as the question says, the result has to be there from 5004. So, the result which is there in HL, we can shift it to 5004 and 5 by using the instruction SHLD 5004. So, with this, the result is stored in 5004 and 5005 okay the same program we can do it in another way also like without using LHLD or SHLD we can take uh, 5001 and 5003 data uh, 5000 and 5002 data add it whatever is the carry generated that you has to be put in another register and then continue taking it so the program says the question remains the same okay so the question is write the data from 5000 and 5001 to 5002 and 5003 and place the result in 5004 and 5005 so the program goes like this first point to the first memory location take that data to accumulator go to the next memory location put that data in v register why are we putting this data in v register because we want now to add 5000 and 5002 and later we want to add 5001 and 5003 so we are shifting that 5001 data to b register now again we have incremented hl pair and added so when i write add m what is added is the contents of 5000 and 5002 are added and that data we need to put it in 5004 so where is that data after addition? We have incremented and what we did is we have shifted the memory content to C. What is the content of memory at this point is the content of 5003. And 5001 um, uh, is in B register, 5003 is in C register. And now what is there in accumulator? The result of 5000 and 5002. Now at this point, after incrementing HL pair, whatever is there in accumulator, we are moving it to memory. Now memory is what? 5004. Now take the data from B register, that data to accumulator and then add C. So it is adding what? 5001 and 5003. And that result you have to put it in 5005. So again you are incrementing 
to 5005 and put that data into accumulator. So this is another way of adding the contents of uh, four consecutive memory locations as a 16-bit data addition. Okay. Now here we have not taken care of carry. If at all you want to take care of carry, so what you can do is you can uh, write instead of add m after the uh, fifth instruction, then it should be like add add m and jump on no carry to increment h. Otherwise you do what carry it, you, there has to be one carry um, register which you can in, which you can uh, put it as uh, uh, some register equal to 00, zero. Uh, and then that data you can add it at the last point where you have written add c so instead of add c adcc we can do okay so that is how you can go for addition of 16 bit data okay the next is uh, write a program to sum the series of numbers stored from D1001 to D1003 and store it in 3000H. So it is again same. Hmm? Addition of two data from D1000 to D1000. See it is continuation data. There are three data bytes. One in D1001, second one in D1002 and third one in D1003. All that has to be added and put the result in memory location 3000. So it is consecutive addition. So LXIH D1001. Take the data to accumulator, increment, add memory, again increment, add memory, and store the data in 3000 and stop the processing. Okay. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, now I'm coming towards how do you write in the exam when you are writing the program, and also how do you uh, write the program for your practicals. So it is the starting. So next program, I'll be incrementing this part and telling you how we have to write it in a proper way. Write a program to sum the series stored from C3001 and 8003 and store the result in 3000. It is the same program, last uh, uh, whatever the program that we have done. Okay. Now here, instead of writing two times addition, I have taken a counter which would uh, take the addition two times in a loop. So that is what we have done here. MVIC uh, 03H, MVIA. See why we have taken 03? Because we want to repeat it for uh, uh, three times. So what is that three times we are adding? First time we are adding memory content to accumulator where accumulator contents are 00. That's why we have written MVIA 00. And then next time you are incrementing and decrementing. See and going back to add. So what are you adding it? You are adding 8001 and 8002. Again, you are decrementing C. Going back, you are adding D1001 plus D1002. The result is added to D1003. Now, you are decrementing C. Now, C becomes 0. So, you are not going to go back because it is jump on no 0. Agar C is going to become 0, then only we are going to next go to the next instruction, which is STA. Otherwise, we are repeatedly going back to add memory. So, when you do like this, the addition is there in accumulator. That result, you are storing it in. 3000. So here one point that we are trying to understand is how do you write the label? So as you have seen after decrement if C has not become 0 you have to go back to add. So uh, I need to write some label that jump on no 0 to some place. What is that some place? I need to give that identification as a label. So jump on no 0 to up. So where is the up? That is instruction add M. So if in front of that uh, add M you need to write the label as up. Okay, so this is another way of addition of two num three numbers in a consecutive memory location and storing it in some other memory location. Okay, okay, okay. The same uh, program that I told you are going to now uh, go for the next step. How you write in your uh, practicals? Okay, so if you see this one, the in the practicals, we are going to uh, write all these columns. The columns are address column, label column, mnemonics column, of code, number of bytes and comments. So when you are doing all these, you need to start writing the program first. So what is that program is the mnemonics part. Once you write the mnemonics part, then you go for number of bytes. Of course, mnemonics along with mnemonics only label also comes because 
from where we are jumping to what location we are jumping all that we don't know the address so at that time we are going to write the label so uh, after writing the mnemonics you can write the number of bytes i have written only for one instruction like that you need to write for all the instructions how many bytes each instruction is why we need to write that is it will give you if i write lxi h2000 if i start that putting the opcode of that lxi h in c1000 how many consecutive memory location that instruction needs for the completion of that instruction so it needs three three consecutive locations that's why we have written lxi h2000 is taking c1000 c1001 and c1002 that's why at c1003 only the next instruction is written so the next instruction we have written as move am like that all the instructions are written see this is this program is also to find out the largest number just a comparison is there and then you are finding out the largest number between 2000 data and 2001's data okay so how do you do it like size 2000 take the data to accumulator go to the next memory location and compare it after comparison if a is greater than uh, memory location or if a is less than memory location so depending on that carry is generated or not generated if the carry is not generated then you're going to jump to store the data whatever is there in accumulator as the largest number and that you are putting it in 3000 if not means what accumulator is smaller than the memory so whatever is there in memory to be taken to accumulator so that is how you did is move a memory to accumulator and that data is considered as the largest number okay along with writing all this we have one more thing to be written over here is comments now comments is what what exactly that instruction is doing you should give a meaningful comment to each instruction like if i write alexa h2000 what is there it is point to the first memory location 2000 h so you can otherwise also write that store hl with 2000 or load hl with 2000 it is same but if you write more meaningful comments it would be uh, uh, efficient program okay and then next is move am means what move the contents of memory to accumulator inxh when i write inxh what is the meaning i am pointing to the next memory location next compare him just you can write compare him but what is exactly that comparison is happening so that you have to write as compare the memory with accumulator and then why are you jumping to uh, uh, down if the carry is not generated that is what is jump to store the result if a content is larger so this is how you need to write the comments for each and every instruction in your program okay okay the next program that we're going to see here is a program to find once complement of a number stored at memory location 2000 and store the result in 2000 see it is very simple program take the data to accumulator complement it and go to the next memory location and store the result so how do you do it lxih 2000 move the contents of memory to accumulator complement it inxh move the accumulator to memory and stop execution so what is there in 2001 the once complement of the data which is there in 2000 okay okay now we have incremented the same program to get the two's complement of a number so in the last program we have just complemented and put the data into memory now what is two's complement take one's complement and and add one to it so when you are doing that everything is same complement accumulator and then only add immediate 0 1 h and then go to the next memory location and stop the execution okay the, so this is how we are going to write the program next is a program to mask the lower nibble of an 8-bit number which is stored at 2000 and store the result at 2001 now when i say masking it is just uh, hiding that data when i say hiding it cannot be just you get the only a nibble but it is whatever is there you make it as zero that is what is the meaning of masking the lower nibble lower nibble means if you have number as 25 5 is a no lower nibble so that 5 has to be made as zero and once you make this what is the answer that you are going to get for 25 is 20 okay so how do you do it we have a logical instruction called anding so 
when you add any number with zero the result is zero so there if you add the uh, if you add the lower nibble of the given data with all zeros means four zeros that becomes the whole whatever is the upper data it becomes zero and if you add the data whichever is the data with f it will be as it is the result okay so for that what we have done is we have entered the result or under the content of accumulator with f0 so what is it lxi h2000 take the data to accumulator whatever is there in accumulator to that we have entered the data with f0 so what you get suppose accumulator is having 45 4 is ended with f 5 is ended with 0 4 with f will give 4 as the result 5 ended with 0 will give you 0 as the result so after that what is the result in accumulator 4 0 and then that data we are putting it in 2001 for that we need to go to the next member location that's why we did inxh and then store that data to the memory location i hope all these points are very basic and now next time onwards we are going to go for a higher version of programs so i want you all to understand these programs very well okay thank you